Well, we've had the RV since September and we have a leak. It's not a major leak, and I think the leak existed from the day we purchased it. We just didn't know it. When we were out um, camping during the Thanksgiving holiday in Birmingham, we realized that our refrigerator was not making ice. We have a residential refrigerator inside our RV, and it's supposed to make ice. It wasn't. So we did some research and found out that there is a cutoff valve to the water supply to that ice maker, and if it's not turned on, obviously, your refrigerator or freezer is not going to be making ice. Um, it was difficult to find. It was behind a hidden panel by the sink. Had to remove the panel because the panel panel was like permanently installed and screwed in, and you couldn't just. There's no access panel to it. I had to remove the panel and get to the valve. And as soon as I turned on the valve, it was leaking. So I assumed that it wasn't installed properly, or tight, or whatever the case is. Uh, so basically, I just turned that valve back off. And there's no leak uh, but also there's no ice going so we want to try to get that fixed so that we'll have ice and not have to buy ice and and all that stuff so uh, it's not a major issue but it is a leak and uh, we want to try to get it fixed here's our residential fridge and uh, it's supposed to be making ice and it's not and down here um, in this cabinet down here uh, is where the where the valve is it's behind a, a panel so I'm gonna have to get down there remove the panel and then get to the valve and I'll have to hook up the water to see um, where exactly it's leaking at. Right beside the fridge and freezer is this cabinet down here. I've already removed everything out of here and I removed the panel. There was a panel that was covering this whole area and it was screwed in so you couldn't you couldn't even get back here to all this. Now you can see all this and you can see where the valve is. The valve is right there. And that needs to be turned on for water to be flowing to the ice maker. And um, from the factory, it is automatically not turned on. So either they forgot to turn it on and test it before, or they keep them turned off and when you turn them on it's just crapshoot whether it's going to leak or not all right that's where the leak was coming from that that bottom part um where this uh would normally plug into the bottom there and i've taken this off and uh, you can see um that this fitting that goes in into there gets plugged into there is bent up um so i'll have to see if i can uh get a fitting that uh that can go on there as a replacement or i don't think i can fix that one all right i think i got what i need all right first thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cut this line and luckily um we got plenty of plenty of slack there plenty of line so even if i cut this i'll still have plenty of, of line to, to plug it back in so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut this i'm gonna put one of the brass fittings inside the new place um after i slide this on and then uh slide it back up hook it back up see where we're at all right i think i have the right piece now this little guy that was crimped and, and kinked uh, i have learned it's called a compression sleeve and the size is one quarter of an inch and so i went up to the hardware store and i got a thing of compression sleeves and we're going to try it out. i got the wrong thing at first the first thing i got was the um pipe inserts so then I got to looking closer at this and I uh, started looking around the hardware store for something that looked like this and um, I saw the compression sleeves and um, at first I couldn't find the right size and then so once I kind of knew what I was looking for um, someone asked me if I needed help and I was like yeah I'm looking for a compression sleeve so it looked like I knew what I was talking about but I really didn't know what I was talking about <laughs> All right, it's on, and I just barely, I mean, I hand tightened it and then just went like another 
you know just a, a little bit with the with the pliers because I didn't want it to um, get kinked up like it like it was before. So I'm thinking maybe they over tightened it when they put uh, when they put on the first time. So I didn't go too tight. I didn't put plumber's tape. So we'll hook up some water. We'll turn it on. And then if it's still leaking, uh, we'll try to put some plumber's tape in there. Uh, if it's still leaking, then we'll try to go even tighter. Uh, I was just scared to go too tight. We'll see how this works out. That was very bad. Turn on the water. Turn on the thing down there. It started leaking. And then all of a sudden it popped off. And it was just phew, geyser city, man. Water everywhere. I'm going to go outside and see where all this is leaked to. Uh, there's water everywhere. Uh, here's a rundown of events that have transpired so far. <laughs> I came here to fix a small non-essential leak from the line that goes from the shutoff valve to the ice maker because it was leaking. And the reason that it was leaking when I took it apart, I found out, was because uh, the compression sleeve that was put on the plastic tubing was kinked and so it was causing a leak. So I went to the hardware store. I got what I thought was a correct part, new compression sleeve. Um, turns out it was the wrong size. So I had to go back to the hardware store. And in further investigation, in looking at the old compression sleeve, it's brass on a plastic tube, which is what I have learned now is not correct. But this is what the manufacturer put on that connection. It's not supposed to be that. These types of compression sleeves are only for metal or copper tubing, not for plastic. So what I had to go get, well, let me talk a little bit more about that. I went and got one another one of these little guys and I put it on and I hooked the water to the RV. Now, I did also forget to put on the water pressure regulator onto my buddy's house um, in his downspout. So when I hooked the water and I had this not correct sleeve on there, compression sleeve, I hooked it up and I turned on the, the, the valve and it was still leaking. Just barely leaking. And I was like, well, that stinks. It didn't work. Um, but then the tubing <laughs> shoots out the bottom. Water everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, holy you know, and um, so bolted out. I didn't even think to turn off the little valve because I'm just like panic mode. Bolted out back to the house, turned off the downspout, came in here, turned off the valve, went to the bathroom, got a bunch of towels. There's water everywhere. It's like running down behind the, the stove. I go outside, it's dripping out the the, the slide. Uh, and I'm like, oh my gosh, did I just ruin the slide? Or did I just ruin the RV? And I'm thinking I might have blown out all the lines because of the pressure. I don't know. I still don't know. But I got the right piece now. So I want to let you guys know that the right piece um, looks like this. There's one piece that looks like this that goes into the little tubing. And then there is another little plastic ring that goes over the, the plastic tubing when it goes into the fitting. I'm going to show you that. But anyway, it's um, typical for... The Montana 3121s, which we have the residential fridge with the ice maker. Now, I've read on all the forums where people are having issues where they, they can't turn on their ice maker. And so when they turn on, when they do find this panel that's hidden and blocked off and drilled in, which you have to totally remove to get to the valve, when you turn on the valve, it leaks. And a lot of people are having the same issue. And I think I know the reason that they're having this issue is because and the, at the manufacturer, they're putting on the wrong compression sleeve. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to put on the correct compression sleeve and then I'm going to make sure that all the water has stopped dripping out of the slide to uh, because I need to find out if I blew my lines out or not. So once I get all that to drip out, hopefully that's just water that's dripping out of the slide from, from the leak over here that I caused and not from the lines outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that quit dripping. I'm going to fix this. Then I'm going to go turn the water back on with the water pressure regulator and then I'll go and inspect all the lines again and see if I caused a major problem or not and I'll let you know. So let me show you first what the manufacturer probably did at the at the factory. They had the tubing here and they put on a metal compression sleeve. Now they put on the fitting which looks like this. That step is correct. Then they put on a metal compression ring. This thing right here. Wrong. 
should not be there. So if you have this in your RV, if you have a leak where your ice maker is coming in, check to see if you have a metal compression sleeve. It should not be. I'm about to show you what it right looks like. And just to let you know, this is a one quarter inch compression fitting for plastic tubing. Now you can see there's a little plastic piece here and it's tapered. See that? Now the fat end over here needs to go toward the toward the the nut and it tapered away toward the end of the tubing. There's another little piece looks like this. And then this is going to go into the end of the tubing like that until it fits snug inside there. Once you get your plastic and your metal fitting on, you're going to take this guy and you're going to take this tubing, put it up in there all the way to the end until it hits. You push the little plastic piece up, then you'll push the fitting up. I did put some uh, plumber's tape on there just to make sure added security. You go hand tight, as tight as you can tighten it by your hand. That's as tight as I can get it. And then with your pliers, you're going to go an extra one full turn. It's on there now, um, the way that it's supposed to be. And um, we'll dry this area up down here, and then we'll see how it works out. All right, the water is back on to the RV. I don't hear anything crazy. Uh, that's step one. That's good. We're going to go down here, and we're going to check this line for the ice maker and see if it's leaking. A little bit of truth been working on this all day. The line is on and it is not leaking. A small victory. That was the goal that I hope to accomplish today. But now I'm going to go outside under the slide and see if I blew out <laughs> some other connections, which would be tragic. I'm sitting under the RV now, and um, <laughs> man, I just got done checking all the all the water lines, and uh, I just keep looking back just to just to be sure in that one spot. But it seems like no more um, no more water is building up. It appears that all the water that, that spilled out from earlier uh, into the slide has has made its way out. I'm sure there's some moisture back there. And I uh, hope that will air out without growing any kind of mold or funk or anything like that. But, um, well, what I came here to do, I did. took all day and a little flood and a little panic and had to cancel a medical appointment because I couldn't sleep tonight wondering if uh, if I blew up the plumbing system on the RV. <laughs> it's funny now. It wasn't funny earlier. <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> Leslie definitely didn't think it was funny when I called her and said, hey, can you cancel my medical appointment because I flooded the RV. <laughs> Anyway, hey, um, that's the end of the video. <laughs> hey, let's honor a let's honor a hero. <laughs>